Welcome back to the channel. Just out in the shed, greasing up little man's chain there on his bike. And I realized I'm well overdue to grease up mine. I got this back in February of 2022. Now, the beginning of October. I don't know when it's gonna be when I upload this, but it's the beginning of October right now. And I haven't greased mine at all. A lot of people grease them after every ride. I kind of put it off, but I'm in the mud, I'm in the water. I really should be doing it more often. Time to get my button gear and actually do it. There's 16 Zerks. 16 fittings or 16 grease nipples however you like to put it so i'm just going to show you very very quickly how to hit each one this is going to be a super quick video show you where they are make it super simple because if i can do it anybody can do it including you so we're going to start up here with the uh, lower control arm okay so you got one there one there and it's the same on the other side they're symmetrical then you look up here there's one right there and you can barely see but there's one on the other side again because it's symmetrical and then also in the front, go right in through this plastic here, and there she be, or you can come in this way. I'd say that's probably your easiest. Mine's obviously dirty, so I'll wipe that down before I grease it. And there's the other side of the lower control arm. So up front, you got this on either side, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's not 16. I thought there was 16. There was on my old bike. The XMRs must be different. Looks like we got two extra. Now head to the back. Right here beside the gas tank. Not sure exactly what that's for. I'm no mechanic again, but clean that off. There's one there and there's one on the other side. So right below your gas tank, pretty easy to find right there. So once you get that one, just move down here behind the shock. This little guy, be the same thing on the other side. Again, make sure you clean them off first. Don't want dirt in there. And then move down a little further to the bottom of your shocks. And you'll see right there is another one. Then you got my least favorite, the U-joint. So I already got it jacked up. You can do it from the ground. Just have to make sure it's a neutral either way. And in here, you will see, if you turn your wheel, there is a fitting in there to get at. Then you wanna hit the one closer to the front or the middle of the bike, which is right there. So that gives you your eight in the back. So if you count both sides, you got two, four, six, and the two U-joints, which make eight. So eight in the front, eight in the back, and grease them up right quick, and then we're done. Why didn't I do this sooner? I don't know. All right, so you saw me grease a couple there, then I ran out of storage, so it didn't record the rest. They're all done, all greased up, ready to go, ready for the next ride. Like I said, pretty simple. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Not sure what's in store for the next video yet, so subscribe down below so you don't miss that. With that said, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time, peace.